Generally, people will think of corsets and crinolines when they think about costumes. When you see the work from LCF students, it's very much, it's like sort of animated sculptures. We very much focus on contemporary costume. We are producing change makers, disruptors, uh, people who are going to excite and change the industry into the future. So a lot of the ideas are much more influenced by fine art, by sculpture, architecture, and obviously the idea that this costume has to tell a story, that it has to maybe undergo a change. Costume, we've got a foot in uh, fashion, a foot in textiles yes, and a foot in definitely. literature and so there's a real mixture of skills that you need to yes. be a costume designer. What we do is about like thinking, so through thinking of like how we use techniques, so thinking how we can approach a specific project, so we learn. We learn different ways, different approaches of how we get to that specific point. So it's a very effective way for our students to explore all these different techniques, whether it's draping, pattern making, or uh, menswear tailoring. Lots of research always goes into of how we can capture those sort of um, different identities that we might want to express or that we need to clothe or that we need to find solutions for. The school is connected across the three discipline areas through an understanding of the body as a creative site. Often costume is considered as an aid to an actor to become a part and to play a role. And in our case, the costume itself is the actor. Our costumes um, tell the story and they are brought alive by the performer. That costume-led performance is really about the identity of the, of the designer maker or really about what they want to say about the world. Costume interacts in the school with uh, the media courses and the communication courses, particularly with media. So we often have collaborations with, say, fashion styling um, and the costume students, for example. Um, we have an undergraduate in costume for performance. We have an undergraduate in hair, makeup and prosthetics for performance. So those students collaborate all of the time because they're creating whole identities. We're part of a larger community of practice yes. within performance. King, you're all working towards the end goal, which is the production, the performance, and it's really important that you're able to work alongside other people and take on board ideas. Yes. And actually, you get much better ideas if you do that. Sometimes they're asking uh, advice from the makeup students. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're working with the 3D effects students, or the lighting, or the illustration students. So it's a big, big part of their life. UAL has recently uh, brought in new strategies which reach out sort of more worldly wide and within the performance programme we are aiming to move uh, into, a, into more explicitly uh, stating where we are working on projects that relate to social justice, climate change, racial uh, awareness, all these aspects of social life and, and identity and culture. I find that students, especially on the MA, are very, very keen on expressing their cultural identity and we offer them a lot of opportunities to do that. And because when you ask a student to communicate something that they feel strongly about, often it is about where they form and London being such a melting pot, often people also feel liberated to talk about things that may be harder to talk about back home. We have some of the the, the biggest critical mass really of um, costume researchers who are working with um, costume agency, materiality and the body and new technologies, wearable tech um, and costume. 
we are preparing our students to work in um, more of a kind of portfolio career. Some of them go on to do freelance work, they work in, in film, they work in uh, contemporary dance, they work in the music industry, and increasingly we're seeing students starting to work, uh, for example, with costume for gaming um, and for new emergent performing, performance spaces. And we're seeing really the changes to the curriculum being informed by the locations our students go on to work in.